compressor is the heartbeat of the vapor compression refrigeration system. Without it, there is no pressure differential to drive the movement of refrigerant throughout the system, and therefore no cooling can take place. This pivotal component provides many essential functions to a refrigeration system. Inside the evaporator, vapor is generated as heat is absorbed by the refrigerant. The vapor exiting the evaporator is piped to the compressor which stands ready to receive the vapor and compress it. The compression process not only increases the pressure of the vapor, but also increases the temperature. The second law of thermodynamics teaches us that heat always moves from a higher temperature to a lower temperature. Therefore, increasing the temperature is necessary since the condenser cannot reject heat unless the refrigerant is at a higher temperature than the heat rejection media which is typically the ambient air. The pressure generated in the compressor moves the refrigerant throughout the cycle. Without a compressor, no refrigerant would circulate. In other words, without a compressor, we cannot have a refrigeration cycle. I love introducing people to refrigeration and especially compressors. And quite frankly, it's just because compressors are cool. Uh, it's not unusual for a new employer in their first day of work, take them to a facility, introduce them to a system, um, and the first place you go is the machine room. Compressors are loud. They, um, they really catch your attention. And bottom line, they're just cool. Broadly speaking, there are two categories of refrigeration compressors, dynamic displacement and positive displacement. In positive displacement compression, the refrigerant vapor is drawn into a chamber, trapped, and then the volume of the chamber is reduced. Dynamic displacement compression, on the other hand, works by increasing the velocity of the refrigerant vapor and then increasing the flow area, which causes the kinetic energy to be converted into a pressure increase. There's two general categories of compressors, and those are positive displacement and dynamic. In industrial refrigeration, positive displacement are the most common, and there are different types of positive displacement compressors, but they all work by the same principle, and that is you get a volume, trap a vapor within that volume, and squeeze it down. Dynamic displacement is used more in commercial refrigeration and air conditioning, and it works under the principle of getting a vapor at a low velocity and increasing that velocity by spinning it at very high speeds. Then the energy gets converted to velocity energy and we can slow that vapor down and convert that energy into pressure energy. So that's the two types and how just at a basic level, they are different than each other.